Okay. Okay, great. So yeah, good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing good. Um, yeah, it's day five of week zero. It's going to be our, our last stand up for week zero. So yeah, I hope you're all doing good. I hope you had a restful night. And yeah, well, we will do our usual roundtable uh, check. So our questions for today are, how was your week zero experience? Any comments? Uh, are you prepared for the remaining submissions? Any blockers so far? How can we help you? Anything you've changed if you have to go through week zero again? So I've also typed it in the in-call uh, message and I've also pinned it now. So yeah, so we need volunteers. If not, maybe I can call names. So any volunteers? Anyone who would want to speak up first? It's already day five. Um, yeah, we expect you to be more or less comfortable by now. So anyone would you like to go first? Okay, okay, maybe, maybe I can call lots of names. So, uh, Mama, can you go first? And then I'll make sure to type with the other people I would want to go next. Can you speak up, Mama? Hello, good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, so, week zero was a very interesting week. I have learned a lot. Uh, and also, I have tried my best, doing the best. And so far, it's great, I guess. So, I have seen that uh, my non technical part is somehow lower, so I need to work on that. And I'm trying to do my best for the next submission. Mm, so far, no blockage. And uh, if it is possible, could you send us the link to the uh, presentation preparation, uh, the slide for the presentation preparation? That's all I have to ask. Okay, 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 good. It's good that you've uh, tried to keep up with all the submissions. And which slide uh, are you uh, are you requesting for? Is it for the careers or for the technical? Uh, which one? Or the non-technical part, so the one that uh, says how, how to create a PPT presentations, something like that. No, uh, okay, it should be in the drive, but if not, I will make sure to check now. And yeah, okay, I'll make sure to check and get back to you. All right, good. So, is there anything you'd like to change if you'd like to um, change if you have to go through week zero again? Uh, that would be my uh, report. The report I submitted on the first, the first one was not good. So that would be the change I would do, probably. Ah, okay, okay. So yeah, maybe you can. Uh, it's it will not be graded since uh, it's, since we have already uh, released the leaderboard. But you can maybe um, you can also send us your revised report, and then maybe we can provide you with with um, feedbacks. Uh, if it makes you um, happy, I mean, would love to do that. So yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Great. So next we have God's will. I think he left the call. Um, maybe can you do me a favor, uh, Mama? Can you please uh, ping God's will to get back on the call? I think he was here and he just left now. So yeah, can you please check up on him? Um, until then, we can move to Carmen. Carmen, can you speak up? Yeah, uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, so week zero was uh, good for me. 
uh, it was actually kind of challenging. Uh, at the same time, uh, I learned a lot. So overall, uh, I would say it was good. Uh, okay, so the second question, are you prepared for the remaining submissions? Yeah, I'm preparing my submissions uh, for today and also for tomorrow. So yeah, I'm preparing a lot. Any blockers so far? How can we help you? Uh, no, I haven't faced any blockers so far. Uh, anything will change. So uh, the thing I would change if I had to go through the week zero again is my time management skills. So it was a little bit hard adjusting my timetable with the cohorts uh, time. So the only thing I would be improving, I would say, is uh, my time management skills. Yeah, that's it. Okay, okay, good. So, yeah, it's really good that you are trying to submit all, and um, it's good that you don't have any um, technical blockers, I would say, because I think everyone is more or less um, understanding the concept the, of the weekly challenge document, which is really good. So, yeah, in terms of time management, um, I mean, it's expected, it's, you know, it's just your first week. Um, and the uh, week zero is, as mentioned before, is kind of hard uh, compared to the actual training because uh, we want to uh, increase the level of intensity so that you, you know, so that we can uh, push you and see if you can survive. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah, that's expected. So, yeah. Uh, you make sure to uh, maybe improve it in the actual training. So yeah, that's good. That's good. That's really good. Um, so next we have Sumeya. Sumeya, can you speak up? I think she maybe she left the call. No. Oh, if you're speaking, you're on mute. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Good morning. Good morning. Um, hello, everybody. First, uh, how was the week zero? It was I was challenging, but it was also good. Uh, I learned a lot from the week zero. I never thought I can do this all things in just three or four days uh, because I have a low the coding background, so it was good for me. I learned that I can do better if I give time. And uh, and thing I changed, uh, maybe my time management, as I said, and the time I spend on the understanding of the paper or the challenge. I was running to write the code first and before understanding the paper, so that's push me back in the last times and maybe that I learned um, no technical problem and I'm, yeah, I'm getting ready to submit uh, all my assignments on time. Uh, I, I face a little bit challenge on tasks too and I'm doing eight now, I mean, that's all. No, sorry, I was on mute. Um, so yeah, so it's good that you're submitting all your tasks, and maybe you can also tell us the blocker you're having on uh, the on the second task. I think I believe you say it, task two. You can also tell us here. If not, um, one thing I would suggest for you to like to uh, uh, manage your time is whenever you face like. Uh, blockers don't spend like more than maybe 15 or 20 minutes on it even that's even too much just make sure to reach out to your peers or or just maybe uh send a screenshot or just uh, send us uh, send a, send your question on the all with zero channel so um all the tutors can help all uh your peers can also um you know contribute to 
um, to the question. So yeah, it's always better to, you know, just to ask uh, the question you have up front. So maybe you can also tell us the blocker uh, you have. If you prefer to take it uh, to the channel, that's that's also good. It's just um, on the. I, I was I was trying to talk a tokenizer after I take my labels and the input or the content for the second questions, and I think it's because of my PC. It's just a run. It was really difficult to process it, and it was the challenge I was facing. And the second problem I face is the number of the label was not matching with the the length of the labels was not matching with the length of the input ID, and that was the problem I was facing. Uh, okay. Okay. So I think the first question is um, is related to um, to maybe a, your system performance. Maybe for the second question, um, are you still facing that issue, or did you figure it out all by yourself? No, I figured it out now. Because it's because of the null values. The dropping was not equal, so I dropped equally both my labels and the other ones. So now. It's fixed. Okay. Okay. That's great. That's really good. Um, yeah, this is good. So maybe yeah, we can move to the next person. I think God school is back and I think he's raising his hands. So maybe if you can speak up, God school. If you're speaking. Good morning. Hear me. I've been battling with this book. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Okay, I think he left the call. Maybe it's his um, connection. So, yeah, maybe we can move on to um, Araso. Araso, can you speak up? Everyone, I'm out of. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Okay. Uh, I was uh, in week zero experience. Yeah, it's, week zero is a great week for me. Yeah, uh, I searched it a lot of resource and most of my time focused on uh, time management and researching for the tasks. So it was a uh, good. Uh, yeah, I'm preparing for uh, the remaining of task submission till I didn't finish um, the task for now. So for the next submission, I'm preparing for that. Uh, for any blocker, uh, yeah, there is a lot of challenge, but I don't call that as a blocker because uh, I researched it on the challenge I faced and I'm um, passing them. So I didn't face any blockers that take back from my tasks. So anything that I can change if uh, I go through the week zero is a lot of time management and also uh, the code modularize because uh, the one thing that I have doing now is first completing the task then and come back to the arrange the code into uh, a record part or modularizing. So this is all about what I'm doing. okay okay good so this is really good um it's good that you you're you're like uh trying to figure out your like blockers by your own but um what i would suggest again is maybe if you have forwarded uh the questions you have or the blockers you're getting maybe um 
maybe the team or uh, other trainees could have helped you uh, since they have probably went through the same problem before. So yeah, that's that would be that would also be helpful. Um, yeah, more nevertheless, it's 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 still really good that you've uh, figured it out by yourself. So yeah, and also on time management, yeah, it's definitely expected. Um, it's week zero. Uh, it's very hectic. You have submissions on a daily basis, and I mean honestly, that's uh, that's the whole point uh, to test you on how you're managing your time and how you're delivering your tasks. So yeah, so I'd say you're already doing good, and uh, you will do even better on the actual training. Uh, so this is good. This is really great. Um, yeah, thank you also for the update. So next we have Elizabeth. Elizabeth, can you speak up? Um, good morning, everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Good morning. All right. So my big zero experience has been really good. I've been able to really stretch myself while tackling the tasks. Um, so I'm prepared to submit the remainder of my submissions. So in task two, while completing task two, I face some blocker with regards to the CICD pipeline but i was able to get assistance from the tutors and also from um other students so i was able to clear that up uh i'm currently working on task three to, to finish up task three and then now update my report um if there's anything i would change while going through week zero again is probably better planning. I also fell into the trap of going to code first rather than uh, looking through to see the tasks that I have to complete. That is aside from coding, that is updating the documentation, and things like that. So I was more focused on the code bit. And so I would change that. And I would also probably spend less time on the blockers, just as you advised to not take more than 15 minutes when encountering a problem and then just stretching out because it saves a lot of time. So that's it from me. Thank you. Okay, that's good. It's really great that you're still uh, working on the tasks. And in terms of planning, yes. Um, well, in the actual training, uh, we we always have like a weekly presentation for every challenge on Mondays. So, uh, why we why we are doing that is because we want our trainees to first understand the business objectives of the weekly challenge documents. So. Um, if you don't really understand the business objectives, uh, the business objective of the um, of the actual challenge, it's kind of hard to you know to go through the tasks, and you kind of get lost. I would say, uh, you know, you would maybe you would do a lot of coding, and um, at the end of you know at the end of the week, maybe you haven't really progressed that much, or you didn't really achieve. Uh, the end goal of the project or what we are demanding so it's always it's always 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 better to understand what uh, the company is demanding since we um since we curate the challenges in from like industry uh we are basically uh training you it's not like we're teaching you it's we're training you to do uh, the the actual tasks you'll be given in an actual job so yeah it's always better to uh, understand the uh, project and plan accordingly um yes yeah definitely um so yeah uh, yeah this is good 
This is good. Thanks, Elizabeth. Next, we have Stacy. Um, Stacy, I think she's in the call. Yes. Can you speak up? Um, good morning. Can you Good morning. Okay, so um, my experience um, for week zero, um, it was kind of challenging for me because I'm new to this whole concept. So much of my time was taken researching, trying to find where to start from, and um, trying to finish the test on time. Yeah, but so far, so good. I've been able to progress on the tasks. Um, so um, I'm preparing for the submission of the remaining tasks. I'm currently handling task three. Yeah. So any blockers? No, I don't have any blockers at the moment. Then something that changes time management. Um, and it was kind of hard. Um, the schedule was kind of tight with the submissions, with the daily submissions. Yeah. And also um, um, doing more research on the engineering stuff. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, okay. This is good. Thank you, Stacy, for uh, for the update. Yeah, I mean, in terms of time management, I have said it before. Um, it's yeah, it's more or less about planning, and yeah, it's good that you are on um, task three. But if you if you're having any um, blockers, you can also for, forward uh, your questions here or on the All Week Zero channel uh, for everyone. Uh, to see and answer. Um, so yeah, this is great. This is really good. Um, one thing I noticed is uh, I think everyone more or less um, understands the project. It's I think it's more about time management. I think uh, what you what you're all experiencing. So uh, this is um, this is great actually. Um, it's always better to understand something and maybe take more time to do it rather than not um, understanding it. So, yeah, even if even if it's that uh, the case, uh, we can we can still fix it. But yeah, just uh, just a comment. So, um, who do we have next? Uh, yeah, Macquip. Macquip, can you speak up? Okay. Uh, hello. How's everybody? All right, we're just gonna answer, I guess. Okay. So, uh, how was my week zero experience? Uh, it it was good. It was uh, a bit overwhelming. I think. Uh, I guess that's the whole point. Uh, there was a a lot to do in just one week. Uh, I think even when doing the task is is. Uh, there's some stuff you don't miss because uh, you're just trying to complete it as much as you can. At least for me, that was the case. Uh, am I prepared for the remaining submissions? Uh, I believe so. I don't think I'll, I can be able to do the optional tasks. Uh, I don't think I have enough time. But if I do, uh, maybe. Any blockers so far? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm still not able to do one part of task two. Um, I, I, I just can't figure out how to do it. Um, I tried a few implementations, but uh, it's not working out. And I've written it in my report, like which uh, how it has blocked uh, me. Um, anything I change if I had to go through week zero again? Um, um, I guess maybe better research before trying implementations, because there was this one implementation that took me that had my computer running for like an hour and 30 minutes, and uh, there wasn't even any progress at all. So better research probably before doing something. And uh, that's it. Okay, okay. Thank you, Michael. And yeah, and also I really appreciate that you've like included your like uh, blocker on your reports, because honestly, if this was an actual uh, job, Instead of like instead of going silent, uh, when your boss asks asks you for like some uh, task or like deliverable, 
it's always better to like update on your progress and like uh, what's remaining. So this is really good. And also, I also want to ask you, uh, did you try reaching out to the tutors or did you forward your questions on the All Week Zero channel? Uh, one of the implementations that I'm talking about that I tried, it's related to a question I asked before, but uh, I hadn't uh, received an adequate uh, answer on that one. So I didn't ask the same question again. Ah, uh, okay, okay. But maybe you can you, you can actually ask, ask again. Uh, maybe can you forward the question again on the channel? So that, um, yeah, you can also maybe reach out to the tutors like uh, personally on Slack. Um, if if you don't want to uh, text on the All Week Zero channel, but you should, you should be able to do that. So yeah, uh, uh, so I, I think we have MT Nan on the call. Uh, she will make sure to reach out to you maybe, uh, or you can also reach out to her and she will make sure to guide you. Would that work? Oh yeah, yeah, that would work. Okay, okay, great. that's good. Um, so next we have um, Abdulaziz. Abdulaziz, I think he's on the call. Uh, no, I think he, he left. Yeah. Okay. Next we have um, Abdi. Abdi, he's on the call. Yes. Uh, Abdi, can you speak up? Can you open up your mic? Like. Abdi, Elias, if you're uh, if you're speaking, we can't hear you. You're on mute. Okay, okay. I think Abdulaziz is back. So Abdulaziz, can you uh, maybe open up your mic and speak? Okay, uh, I'm having a little bit problem with my network. So to answer the questions, week zero is a uh, little challenging uh, because uh, I was uh, I, I am new to data science. Uh, I don't uh, really have uh, this deep uh, experience with uh, data science. It, it was a little bit challenging. The second challenge was. Uh, in week zero, my PC performance, when I try to merge uh, two data sets, it says uh, it cannot allocate uh, that, uh, that uh, size of uh, uh, the memory for uh, an array. So that was some challenge I faced uh, in week zero. So for remaining weeks, uh, I am prepared using my Previous my my experience uh, I developed during this week to some to perform the, the next submissions. So as I try to tell you before, my blockers are um, lack of knowledge and uh, uh, my PC performance. Yeah, that's all. Okay, thank you, Abdulaziz, for uh, the update, for the detailed update. So, I mean, it's good that you have a data engineering background. Honestly, if you have a basic uh, SQL and Python um, uh, uh, knowledge, I mean, it's, and if you are interested into like uh, searching and looking into, you know, the challenge, and uh, basically, if you're interested into learning and, you know, doing the projects, I'm very sure you can you can go through these uh, to this um, uh, uh, training. So I appreciate the fact that you're still trying to do more and trying to work through the challenge. And um, yeah, and always make sure to ask questions on the channel so that everyone can also help. Um, you can also reach out to the tutors personally uh, if it's technical or careers. Uh, you can reach out to Pascaline if it's related to uh, the career side, you can reach out to MTNAN and Rehmet, uh if it's um, uh, technical. So 
Um, so yeah, I mean, it's it's great. It's great that you're still trying to do uh, more. So yeah, this is good. And uh, maybe you can also reach out to me uh, after this call. To you can tell me what's like what's the what's your blocker, and maybe we can yeah, we can arrange something. So um, next we have. Uh, he, uh, is not okay. Okay, I think God's will. God's will, you can speak up. Hi. Okay, so, uh, okay, yeah, in my with zero experience, I say it has been nice, it has been good. I, everything has been going well, basically. Are you prepared for the remaining submissions? Yes, yes, definitely. I, yeah, I, I, I've been putting in more efforts to be sure to get the many submissions done. Okay, so I would say um, the week zero has been trailing actually. That's the experience, that's the word trailing. So uh, when I checked my score yesterday, it was really down. <laughs> I was, uh, I felt bad, but then I went through the comments, I went through the feedbacks and all and you know it really helped me and then so i would say to like give it another try and fix my issues from the former one then um even then it actually uh when i say it gave me a little bit more push because as of yesterday i just had to look at the whole thing and i'm like these are, th these are things i can do so i just sat down and then till very late very very late like till this morning actually and i completed the the tax two the tax three okay so i think um what's left is the tax four and five then and the extra submissions which i should get some done today like the interim projects and stuff and then any blockers so far uh no 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 blockers so far i've been able to fix all my stuff and i wasn't intrigued because while working on it i just felt like you know there's more that can be done on what i already have and it just felt like i should keep looping around and around and trying out different things so i would say but i just had to tell myself that okay you have a base model already you have something work and it's done and that was how i rounded up yesterday or would i say early this morning then Anything you would change if you had to go back through with zero again? Okay, uh, there is really nothing because I think my major challenges with this with zero is the fact that you know I have these other things doing and I just have to find a way to balance my time because even if I'm to start with zero with the same conditions, I don't think there will be other things I could do better or do differently. Yeah, because yeah, there are things that I do not control. Yeah, so that's it on my end. Yeah, that's it on my end. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, Gatsbo, for the um, detailed update. I really um, liked how you uh, how you checked your leaderboard and what you did uh, uh, after. And honestly, the reason we have leaderboards uh, is I mean, the training is not based off of like a competition or something, but we as humans do better when uh, it's a competition. So uh, we just want to push you more and uh, just to give a brief explanation about the leaderboard. Um, we calculated the, le the leaderboard based on your submission count, um, your submission quality, uh, your community contribution, which is your um, activity on Slack. Uh, it could be sharing links, as, uh, asking questions, also answering questions, and generally being active. And we also consider your attendance uh, uh, throughout the um, tutorials. So yeah, there's uh, there's a lot of aspects uh, put into it. Uh, but yes, uh, I really appreciate the fact that you went through all the feedbacks uh, for all the gradings and tried to uh, improve and also submit the tasks so yeah this is uh, this is good actually um it's good that you're trying to do uh better now so hopefully we will uh we will see you on the actual training and uh yeah 
um, I'm very sure you you will succeed. So uh, yeah, this is good. This is great. Uh, I know we took so much time today. Um, it's it's our last day, honestly. And maybe if we have anyone else, uh, maybe we can maybe take one or two people. So uh, anyone who'd like to speak up. Okay. Yes. Yes. Second. Uh, please to speak okay. up. Oh. I'm not sure my mic is like clear. Can you confirm that? Yes, I can. I can hear you. Yeah, that's. I think yeah, it's good. The experience for me, uh, I'm seeing. I was not really prepared for this new as uh, requirements for the website. There was some something like uh, the minimum expectations from other friends. So I didn't really have like, three programming streams and say so that affected me. And uh, what would that have changed differently? Probably uh, on day one, supposed to reach out to me. Um, uh, and the coordinators and explain to them those kids. I got um, uh, I think it's a bit. Um, can you maybe speak up again? Maybe you can also switch your microphone into 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 your like uh, inbuilt laptop uh, speakers. Maybe I think that would help. Okay, yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I it. I, I didn't have the necessary requirements to join the Zoom initially. So all that all I would have to was like to reach out to the computers on the own to explain to them how to go about it. Because I didn't want to go about like learning Python from scratch and all of that. So um, I'm not able to copy the challenge yet. Maybe is it my is it my earphones? Maybe did you guys get to hear Shakoni? Can you maybe show me a reaction? Yeah, he said he said um he 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 thinks that it's because of he lacks some basic um requirement like Python. That's why he's having challenges. I think that's what I got from him. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. So, yeah. So, one thing I would maybe recommend is um, uh, we have sent like uh, reference materials before, yeah, before even the assessment process starts. I think it's it's been maybe two or three weeks. It's just the general um, like links or like with the resources for you to check. Um, maybe, maybe we can set up a call with the tutors and uh, maybe we can go through some of the resources and uh yeah maybe we'll try to figure something out um maybe it's also the challenge could also be a little bit demanding uh and maybe overwhelming that could also be uh the reason but uh yeah but we'll see what we can do um i will make sure to reach out to you just after this call and yeah, just thank you for being transparent and just explaining uh, yeah, the problems you're having. So yeah, I think this is good. Um, this is great. So do we have anyone else? We have Hewitt, Alazar. Um, first, I think it's um, Hewitt. Hewitt, yeah, you can speak up. If you're speaking, you're on news. Or I think it was a mistake, I believe. So, so yeah, this is good. Um, thank you all for joining our very last stand up for week zero. We have the usual.
Hello? Yeah. Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, sorry. So, hello, everyone. Um, my week zero experience was a bit challenging because, uh, you know, I, uh, I don't have a uh, knowledge about Python and machine learning and the whole this whole new concept is new for me. And uh, I'm also having troubles with the submission. Uh, yeah, I'm receiving having some and week zero again. I think I would. Uh, I I think I would do my time management and planning and try to research more about uh, the topics. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you, Hiat. Um, yeah, it's it's honestly it's good that you're trying to work through you know through the bloggers and uh, the challenge you're facing. And yes, I would. I'm going to say this again. Please make sure to um, forward your questions on the channel. Uh, make sure to reach out to your peers. Uh, make sure to ask um, the tutors. And um, yeah, in terms of time management and planning, um, I have mentioned what uh, what we what you should probably do. Uh, so maybe in terms of time, I won't say it again. Um, so yeah, this is this is good. Actually, this is great. Um, yeah, this is great. So uh, maybe I think we can wrap up this session. Uh, yeah. We took an additional uh, probably 20 minutes. Uh, so, yeah, so we have the usual tutorials today. We have uh, two technical tutorials, no careers uh, tutorials today. Uh, yeah, I think that's all. And um, you, okay, I think that's Will has a question. Yes, okay, maybe we can take this one. Uh, yeah, that's Will, you can speak up. So uh, yesterday, uh, I think yesterday afternoon, during the uh, the other section, not the technical section, I don't know if you could get the slides for that section. Yes, yes. Uh, Mama also asked uh, earlier, so I will make sure to check through the drive, and yeah, I will make sure that it's there, and I will also. Uh, ping you on the channel once it's uh, once it's uh, moved to the folder. So yeah, thank you, thank you, Gatsu. And yeah, this is great. So thank you guys for joining. Um, yeah, make sure to submit the remaining tasks you have uh, for on today uh, for today and tomorrow. And uh, please don't be shy to ask questions on the channel. It really helps. Trust me. Uh, the tutors will also make sure to answer your, I mean, your peers, uh, the other trainings, trainees will also make sure to answer. So yeah, uh, I think that's all. Thank you guys for joining and have a good day. And we will have our first tutorial in 10 minutes exactly. So yeah, so thank you guys for joining and have a good day.